Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Before you do anything else, like, subscribe, and share. And you better get your setting spray because this drama is gonna crack your contour girl. And make sure you use the Rich Luxe setting spray from Gerard Cosmetics, which I met the owner of Gerard Cosmetics and she's so beautiful, so lovely, so down to earth. And this smells really great. So this video is not coming out of hate because I'm not a hater. Since I have the merch, my opinion, my conspiracy, allegedly, and show me the receipts. Well, I got receipts. So I went to the Rich Lux meet and greet, which they raised $5,000 for the Elijah Rising Foundation, which um, works with sex trafficking and trying to end that. So kudos to that. Very proud of that. And it was a really cool event. Everybody there was very lovely. The event was very cool, very nice, but Rich Lux was like really weird. It was so awkward. So as you got there, you got to mingle and meet other people, had a good time, got drinks. So I'm at the bar getting a drink and I'm as at, as at the bar, I see Rich Lux and everybody else like coming in through the side with their security and whatever. And I'm like, hey, hey, Rich. And he kind of like waved, but it was kind of like a dry like generic wave like whatever so they went away and then they called us all to meet in the foyer and they came to the top and they gave away stuff and then they came down and then we got to take pictures and then i'll show you that too it was everything was very cool to lab after all the picture taking was done well i was the first one to take the picture so i had a lot of time to mingle so i Hung out with his friend Chris, very lovely, very nice, which I even met out with. Uh, I got to meet Manuel, his um, makeup artist, very nice, very friendly. His assistant, very nice, very friendly. Everyone was very friendly. Teresa was very friendly after all the photos were taken. Teresa mingled with the people. Uh, Nick Snyder mingled with the people. Uh, Nady from Pop Lux mingled with everyone. Um, Pity Page, locked away. Rich Lux, locked away. They all were locked away in Teresa's, like, makeup room. Which I thought, okay, people paid $75 to come to meet you. Yes, it was for a great organization, Elijah Rising, but you're locked away and not mingling with the people, not chatting with people who came here to see you. I drove three hours down there to the event, mind you primarily for Rich, and then he doesn't even interact with people or tries to mingle or anything, which I thought was really weird when everybody else did and they were all so nice and so kind. I thought that was odd. I thought especially if you're talking crap about James Charles being some kind of way towards a fan and not interacting with them in a way that you saw appropriate, and yet people go to a meet and greet where not only I mean, they didn't just casually run into you. They paid to go there, and a lot of people drove to be there. The whole incident with Jim Charles, they just happened to meet him at the airport. These people came here to meet you, drove and spent their money to meet you, and then the whole time, you're locked away and don't mingle with anybody. That was just so strange to me. I don't know if you're just not okay with people um, being around you or having that type of attention about you, but... I think the least you could have done is been out with the crowd like Nick was, like Nady was. Teresa did a little bit and not too much because she went away too. But I just thought that was so disrespectful. And even like on your way out, you were just so disconnected. I don't know if you were having a bad day or something happened or you were just not feeling it. But the way you criticize Jim Charles about how he interacts with his fan, I mean, you should have remembered that and you should have, I don't know, like Nick Snyder, great guy. Nate, Nate great guy, great guy. Uh, Petty Page, didn't see her, she locked herself away like you did, but why? When people went out of the way to drive and pay the amount, it's not like it was a free event, they just casually run into you 
<laughs> what was so funny is that on his Insta stories, I saw that he was like, oh, thank you for coming to the meet and greet. I've met a lot of people and then told me about their uh, stories about how my videos have helped them overcome certain things. I'm like, when did that happen? Because you're locked away the whole time. So when did these people tell you their stories? It must have been on the way out, which people did stop you and you chatted, but that was on your way out. You didn't chat while anybody was there. So, I don't know. That was just very strange. Mm. Oh, this is merch from the Mexican show that I was on, Con Lugar. I will link it below on the season two, episode six, so you can see the show. It's a LGBT show. Very cool. But it's in Spanish, but it has subtitles. So if you're into LGBT shows, watch that. But yeah, I was just taken back. So... If you are a fan of someone, I recommend that you don't try to meet them because chances are you're going to be disappointed. You're not going to get the version of them that you have in their mind. And I don't know. I'm not saying that Rich is not a cool guy. I'm sure he is. And I'd love to meet him again and get a second opportunity because I'm sure he's a great guy. But he was just so disconnected. And I just think it's so weird that you're going to be so guarded at an event that you're hosting to meet you. Like, why would you want to, like... Put a barrier between the people there and yourself that just doesn't make sense to me then why even have events like that if you're gonna put a very clear distance between the two and just not be one of or a part of like nick and Nady did i just think that's very strange because a lot of people that i met there which were very cool by the way they a lot of them drove from various places it's not like they just casually lived in the area so I thought that was very rude. I don't know what's happened to you because what I saw is not what I see when I watch your video. So I'm gonna chalk it up to like something happened. And like I said, this is not a hate video because he's human after all. And I don't know what happened to him today. I don't know what, what mental headspace he was in. Um, he wasn't rude. He was just not there. He was locked away in Teresa's beauty studio or whatever. He didn't interact with the people like everybody else did. So, yeah. Rich, what was, what was it? Explain. I want to know. Because it left kind of like a sour taste in my mouth. And I had a different like idea of who I thought you were or your personality and stuff. And don't get me wrong, he was nice. He was not rude at any moment. He was just not there, which I think was rude. He didn't interact. He didn't do... I mean, you saw him in. He greeted the people and everybody's there. Took the pictures after that. Went away. And then came out when he, when he was about to leave. Or when they asked everybody else to leave. Everybody else was lovely. Super lovely. But you were just not present. And that was odd. I thought it was very odd. Nanny, super cute. Nick, super cute. Petty Page, she was gone too. I didn't see her either. But um, I just thought that was very weird. And it's weird because, you know, I'm an artist and I sell my paintings, but my I sell to people above me, you know? I sell to people who are commissioning pieces of art or saw something that they like, that they want, and they don't care about my Instagram, they don't care about my YouTube, they don't care about my life, they don't care about what I do, they just care about the specific work of art that they're buying or they're, or that they are commissioning, commissioning. so I sell to those people above. They don't care about me, they care about the work of art they're buying. Now Rich, he's in a different type of area. He sells to the people below him. He sells to people who are their fans, his fans, people who watch this channel, people who probably live paycheck to paycheck, people who probably like save up to buy what he's selling. And they buy his stuff because they're a fan. Like I bought the setting spray, I bought some of his merch because I like him and I'm a fan. I'm one of those below. So it's really <laughs> rude for you to treat the people below you as if like they're As if what they do is kind of like not that significant because like I said, a lot of people drove there from 
far places away, myself included, to come see you and you don't even show up. You just are part of what is required of you and then you lock yourself away. So all these people that you sell to below you, you think that you would try to paint a better picture for them when they come to close proximity of you. See, the people that I sell to are above me. They don't care if I show up, do this or do that because they're not interested in that. They're just buying a painting that they like or they commission. They don't care about me. The people where you're at below, they care all about what you do. They care about what you post on social media, what you ate, what you wore, what you did, or what you did not do. And then they come to meet you and you hide away and don't interact. That to me is very rude and disrespectful. So hopefully, if I meet you again, it will be different, but I do have a very sour taste in my mouth from that experience just with you. With Paddy Page, I don't know her. Like, I don't follow her, so I don't care. But with you, I, I do, and I... I mean, I'm still gonna watch. I'm not gonna not stop. I'm just... I'm just, ugh. Like, that was rude. So I don't know if there's a reason from your for your aloofness or for you being so detached and not there and hidden away like what were they like why were you locked up away like why couldn't you just be part of the scene like everybody else was i want to know and i don't want to want to i want to know what's in here because it's so good so it's not a hate video it's more like a what was going on rich what was going on so that's it for today's drama. I'm just kidding. I'm not a drama channel, but make sure you check out the series. The web series called Lugar is really entertaining if you're a Spanish speaker or if you're okay with reading subtitles. It's very hot, very sexy, and I'm in episode six of season two. So that's it for now, and until next time, adios y bye.